OMG. Okay. Look at my, look at this, what I bought. I bought this bag. <laughs> this bag cost me about $50, but I had to get it. Welcome to I Am Elaine. It's your girl Mimi. Hi guys. Um, it's been a while since I actually talked to the camera, uh, but I wanted to say hello. And I went to IMATS in LA um, yesterday, Sunday. I went on Sunday. Yes, I did. And it was so much fun. I really recommend it if you can get to one. Uh, Toya Boo 2 is right next to me. So I'm looking over at her. I'm not talking to nobody. I'm talking to her and you, but you know, moving on. So I went to a little haul. Um, I didn't get too much, too many things, but I got things that I normally wouldn't get because I normally don't see these kind of brands in person. So it was kind of nice. You get you know, to see what's out there. Um, and you get a discount too when you go. So that, that definitely helps. Um, I am wearing a few things on my face right now, which when I get to it, I'll, sh I'll let you guys know what it is. I'll start with crown brushes because I think we've all pretty much heard of crown brushes either through Candy Johnson or through hotlook.com. Hot I got some because I, you know, I'm not waiting anymore. I was like, I need to get them. So I got this, like, it comes in this. Yes, yes, yes. This is about $15. Um, kind of like the same price on Hot Look, but at least I don't have to pay for shipping, so that definitely helps. Um, and I think it's a 12-piece, a 12-piece brush set. Some of the brushes I'm not going to use just because I don't use them, but I... Just wanted to get the whole pack, so. Cause it was really, really busy and I just picked out something. That's what they look like. Um, today I did use two of them. I used this one, which I really liked it. I mean, I still like my elf ones, but whatever. You know, they all do the job to me, but you know. And this one too I used. There were a lot of um, vendors that specialize in like film makeup, cinema makeup, um, you know, like monsters and, you know, crazy colors and things like that. So I saw this one. This is called Cinema Secrets. They had really nice glitter, um, but I didn't get the glitter. I got just um, an eyeshadow, but it was very unique. That's why I picked it up. I was swatching all of them and I was like, OK, OK, this is like something I do not have. Um, this is called Pink Lace. And they actually have a store in Burbank, which I was really excited. I was talking to the girl and I'm probably going to go visit because I really, really like it. Because the time is now to open it for you guys. Um, oh, that's really pretty on the back. It looks like a little Hollywood. You know, I like anything that says Hollywood. So there we go. Hollywood lights. It's a loose powder. I'm going to have to like wear it in a tutorial. It like doesn't look like what it looks like on your eyes. Trust me. It's gorgeous. But anyways, Cinema Secrets. And I'll do a review too if I really, if I buy more things from them for shizzle. So I got a Z palette um, because I was really, really, really jealous when Beth Brutality got one. And um, <laughs> I was really jealous when she got one. So I was like, I gotta go get one. But I was really excited that they were selling them there. So that definitely um, made me buy one because it was like right in front of me. I didn't have to order it online. So I got the pink one, full size one. It was $5 off. It was 15. Zpalette.com. Yes. It's big. It's beautiful. I don't have like a palette where I can put like now I can buy like the single Mac shadows without having them in the little pots and stuff like that. So I can depot things. So it's, it's kind of nice. It's all magnetic. Um, and it goes like, you can totally just like flip it over. So that way you don't have, it's just, it's nice. Nothing drops out. It's like, I don't know. I think it's, it's worth it. I'm sure there's a lot of different brands that make things like this, but inside the Z palette, I have two Inglots, uh, eyeshadows that I was really excited to try. I'm not exactly sure who I saw talk about Inglot. Um, Maybe it was Miss Glamorancy. I'm not exactly sure, but it was one of you. And um, it looked really, really nice. And I was really excited that they were there. And I got two colors. Oh my God. The per Okay, so this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. The purple one is, yeah, the purple one. <laughs> and then the inner corner and the underneath the eyebrow bone is the other kind of like a light it's like a peachy light, you know, light peach. They were five bucks each. Normally they're more than that. They're way more than that. So it was really, I don't know. It was nice to try it out and I'll probably end up buying more from them because I really like the quality of the shadows. Um, they were really, really busy too. So that says a lot when they're really, really, really busy. Everybody was really busy, but they were really busy. I'm wearing two things on my lips right now. You can see through that. I love this combination. Toya Boo 2 helped me out. So I did too. <laughs> so, woo -woo. so um, you guys will be seeing lots of videos with her and me. So um, 
this is called, this is from Too Faced. They were there, guys. I was so excited to know that they were there. I was like, Urban Decay wasn't there, which I was like, what the F, Urban Decay? But um, Too Faced was there. They were kind of sold out of like everything by the time I got to their booth um, because I went on the last day and it was very late in the day. Um, but I got a lipstick from them. This is called Totally Nude. And um, it's not too, too nude on me. Um, it's kind of like a light brown. Um, but... It, I love it. I love lipsticks where I don't have to really worry about them like rubbing all over the place and like messing up all throughout the day. I just don't even need a mirror. I can just reapply. That's how, I don't know. That's how I like it. But it's really cute packaging. And it's the little diamonds. I love it. I can't believe I've never tried one of their lipsticks before. I was so excited. I was like, I got to get this. I think this was $11. That's the color. That's what it looks like. Not that I really need another lipstick, but you know. You guys know my obsession. And then I got a Smashbox lip gloss, which I've never tried their lip glosses before, and I've heard so many great things about them, and I missed the hot look sale for Smashbox. Um, so I was like, I might as well get one while I'm here and it's on sale. Um, this one is called Limitless. This is their uh, Limitless Long Wear, it's their Long Wear Lip Gloss SPF 15. So, and I put that on top because it's like a peachy corally color. It's really gorgeous, actually. And it just looked, it just complimented. It kind of lightened the brown up. So it just like really worked together really well. Um, Sigma was there and, but they weren't selling anything. They were just kind of like letting people sample stuff and feel their brushes and stuff like that. But they did give you a free brush. This is a blending E25. So it's, it's nice. I mean, it's for free. So I can try it out and see if I really do like Sigma. Um, and it's made in... PRC. I have no idea what that is. What's PRC? PRC. It says, I thought it was Paris and it says PRC. PRC? Made in PRC. It's made in USA. It has to be. That's not it's our initials. It's, it's, My camera doesn't know. Made in PRC. What the F? If you guys know what PRC is, comment Puerto below. Rican PRC. Uh, it probably is Puerto Rico Puerto something. Rico, Country. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Kevin O'Quan, I've never really heard of him before. I know, isn't that sad? I probably have, and I haven't. But this is, um, they had, he had, he had, um, he has expensive makeup, apparently. Like, this would go, what I got would have gone for 40 and I got it for 20 so half off, definitely. Um, and this is his concealer slash foundation, so you can use those both. And it's, okay, it looks really, really tiny, but there's so much product and you only need a little bit like really and you guys know I have like a lot of acne and like I would usually just you know gull up my studio fix foundation or my studio fix concealer but uh this one has a lot and it's so creamy and it's really really nice so I'll probably do a review once I start wearing it a lot I'm wearing it today um I don't know if you guys can notice any any difference on my face but um I just put it on so I'm gonna test it out for a few weeks and then do a review on it um just in case you're in the market for a good concealer or foundation. Um, I, I'm only using it as a concealer because I'm still using my other foundations. Style Haul was there. If you guys haven't checked out their YouTube channel, Style Haul is really, really cool. Um, I won't go into too much detail about them yet. Um, you'll probably see more in my vlog, but Style Haul, they, had, they were giving out cute little compact mirrors. So that was nice. Nice to get some free stuff. I really don't think I have anything else. Anyways, it's in the packaging, but it's like an angled, a flat top angled brush. That's my haul for IMAX 2011 LA. Um, it was so exciting. If I met any of you guys, I was really excited. <laughs> like, I was really excited to meet everybody. So, And I was asking people, I'm like, are you on YouTube? You know. So anyways, it was a great time. And I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. And definitely stay tuned um, because I have a very exciting vlog coming up with a lot of people that you might know in it. Bye.